I know some of you out there, some of you, some Republicans may even be turned off by our president. And uh, I don't think you are. I'm not. That was Sonny Perdue, Agriculture Secretary and former Governor of Georgia, which is where tomorrow the 6th District is holding its special congressional election between Democrat John Ossoff and former State Secretary Karen Handel. It is close, and it is closely watched, even from the Oval Office, in a race a lot of folks think is a referendum on the president's first six months in office. Joining me now to talk about it is Republican Congressman Steve Stivers of Ohio, who also happens to be the chairman of the National Republican Congressional Committee. Kelsey and Jonathan are back with us, too. Congressman, thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate it. On a busy day for Good you. Good morning, Holly. The president's tweeting morning. this morning about all of this, right? He says, vote for Karen H. So let me ask you the question of the day. Is this race a referendum on Donald Trump? I don't think so. This is a special election in Georgia. It's about what uh, the people of Georgia want. And in Georgia 6, I think they're going to choose somebody who has proven she can get things done, somebody who lives in the district, uh, over somebody who's spent $30 million to puff up a resume, including exaggerating about his national security experience. So I think, I think Karen Handel's going to win tomorrow, but, uh, but it's clearly a close race. And you, and you think it has nothing to do with the guy who's sitting in the Oval Office then? I think it's about a lot more than that. Okay. Uh, and I think okay. that the people of Georgia have a lot of things that they're going to focus on. But the big thing they're going to focus on is who they want to represent them. And that's what this race is about. But, you know, different people can be motivated by different things. But this race is about who is going to represent Georgia 6. Let me ask this. There's a new ad that's... Um I don't know how to say it, raising eyebrows in the district, uh, getting a lot of people really upset, frankly. Let me play you the first 10 seconds of this thing. Hang on. Now the unhinged left is endorsing and applauding shooting Republicans. When will it stop? It won't if John Ossoff wins on Tuesday. So, so that's a, an outside group that has been denounced by both candidates, uh, the ad itself, showing, you know, Congressman Scalise on a stretcher there. You've got Buddy Carver, the Georgia GOP chairman, saying this about the ad to the Washington Post, saying in part, quote, I'll tell you what, I think the shooting is going to win the election for us because moderates and independents in this district are tired of left-wing extremism. Moderates and independents out there want to give them a chance. Democrats have never given this president a chance. T tying in any way the baseball shooting last week to this race, in your view, appropriate? Well, I think it's inappropriate. I think it's disgusting. Uh, and uh, I think anybody who would politicize this shooting should be ashamed of themselves. It's happening on the left and the right. And, uh, and I think uh, they all should stop it. There are left-wing folks over the weekend who tweeted things that somehow insinuated that Steve Scalise deserved this because of his policy positions. That is disgusting. But this ad is also disgusting. And I think anybody that would politicize this should absolutely be ashamed of themselves. And, uh, and I hope that uh, you know, we, nobody does that anymore. Well, so Buddy Carver, when he says, I think the shooting is going to win this election for us, you disagree? I, I don't think this election is about that. I yeah. think, uh, you know, I, I think anybody that would, I don't think he, the chairman is politicizing uh, the shooting, uh, but I'm, I don't think that uh, the shooting uh, is appropriate to politicize. Steve Scalise is a personal friend, but he's a father and a husband. Yeah. And, uh, as some people tweeted things over the weekend that were really inappropriate, uh, he was in critical condition, and uh, that, that is shameful. And we should note uh, the congressman has been upgraded to serious condition, so a lot of thoughts and prayers with him. I want to ask Which, you, too, about... And, uh, go ahead. And I, uh, he has been upgraded, and, and we're all praying for Steve yeah. Scalise, but I hope that folks will quit politicizing this shooting. Let me ask you about another uh, sort of big headline in this Georgia race, something you know much about, and that is the eyeball-popping sums of money that are being spent here. The Post reports that in a closed-door meeting with lawmakers, you said you felt really good about your chances here, but you also warned about how much money the NRCC has to be spending here. It doesn't seem sustainable, frankly. So how do you look ahead to 2018? You can't spend $30 million or $40 million on every race, right? Well, yep. Yeah. So the, the left has spent $30 million in this race. Uh, the right has spent $20 million right. on this race. We've been outspent by $10 million. 
uh, and this race, they still weren't able to put this race away. I think we're still going to win. Uh, they seem happy with moral victories. We're focused on real victories. But you're right. We can't spend that sum of money on every race. And, uh, and we, we won't spend that sum of money on every race. But this race has taken on sort of an outsized mm. uh, impact because it's the only race that uh, uh, the Democrats seem to be focusing on. We've had four special elections as of tomorrow. We've won two of them. There's two tomorrow. Uh, and they're really not focusing on South Carolina at all. Just as a, as a perspective, Haley, uh, $50 million in the Georgia race all in both sides. Yep. $800,000 all in both sides in South Carolina. Yeah. So I guess the lesson here is run in South Carolina. <laughs> and when you look at the amount of money that you got to spend, though, when you talk about it, because you acknowledge that you can't do that for every race in 2018. Are you concerned nope. by that? Are you worried about the fundraising aspect as we look ahead to the midterms? I'm actually excited about it because uh, we've been out raising uh, the, uh, our counterparts on the other side uh, every month uh, for the first four months. Uh, they, they did outraise us in, in May, but we've outraised them by about $10 million uh, net so far this year. And uh, so I, I feel comfortable with where things are, but uh, they can't spend $30 million in every race either. And that's mm -hmm. what makes me feel comfortable uh, about the, the playing field going forward. In fact, there is no way for them to replicate what's happened in Georgia 6 because, you know, there are 435 seats up with 70 competitive seats, and uh, they don't have $3.5 billion to spend on this election cycle. Congressman Stivers, thank you very much for joining us. I have a feeling this is not the last time we will see you on this program. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.